the second stanza I sought my dead and found it in my womb. Okay. Let's let us think about this in this in this way. Is death something abstract or concrete in a way that can you touch death? Can you measure it? Can you feel it? Is this something abstract or concrete? In this way, abstract is an abstract. Uh, sorry, death is an abstract thing that is not measured. It's not touchable. It is like uh, something we think about it. Okay, but when you can, you, you cannot touch it. You cannot feel it. So the the writer says, I sought my death. I looked for my death. Okay, he is looking for a value. It's not something to, to seek for. Okay, even supposingly, if we argue that there are some values that you go and search for it, like I go and for, for knowledge, for example. But here, by the end of the, this line, the speaker says that death, while, 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 while he was searching or looking for his death, he found his death in his womb, in his belly, in his stomach, okay? As long as he's doing this, okay, there's a sort of what we call embodiment, contributing some concrete values to an abstract value here. Okay, so basically, we must know that death is a value or a some an abstract thing that we think about. It's not something <clears throat> tangible. We can touch, we can feel, but the, the 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 writer takes it and makes it as something touchable, tangible, concrete. Okay, that is easy to find. But here, the most important point that in my stomach, it is inside me. The death is inside him, it, as if it is so close. It is uh, indicates or reflects the his close death, which is going to be then the following night, the, the following day, huh? in the morning. So this is one part, and death for for this for the the speaker here is something inevitable. He cannot avoid it. He cannot run away. He cannot run away from it. Okay, so it is so. It's not even close for him, but it is inside him. Death is inside. The speaker. We're moving to the second line. I looked for life and saw it. I saw it. Uh, I looked for life and saw it was a shape. I looked for life and saw it was a shape. And <clears throat> again, <clears throat> we can see this line as a sort of embodiment too, like uh, contributing or adding some concrete values to the abstract value, which is life. We cannot touch life we cannot measure it for example and the to the contradictions of contributing or mixing up con the concrete values and the the abstract values as we talked about in the lecture and it can be seen in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a, another way like his life or he looked for life or he looked for the hopes of life that he was talking about here, in my prime of he was talking about here, okay, and okay, the, the uh, life that is represented in the things he cared, in the joy, in the food and nutrition, like the corn, in the hope and the values, and the, the day and the sun that which might symbolize the, the new and fresh start. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Um, he looked for all of those things that are represented and found in life and the beauty of life and they found him as shade. They are lies. They are not things that are true. Okay. They are like for him at this case, 
at that case okay and earth which is the source of life and the place where people live the place where people enjoy their life okay usually we live on earth paradoxically ordinary people ordinary people earth is the source of life earth from earth we drink we 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 have water we have food we build our houses we enjoy our lives over earth but for him in this case earth is his tomb is the place of his death maqbara is his tomb The speaker or the writer describes how his time in his, in his earth, instead of being a source of life, itself became his 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 death, his his, his tomb. Every step the writer took was taking him to his death. And we need to understand, we need to refer back to some points in the Catholic beliefs of confession and redemption and the sense how how Christ how Christianity and how ca ca the Catholic beliefs are mainly based on central idea that the 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 the, the, uh, the, the life we are currently living is a reflection of the original sin of Adam and Eve okay and such sins, Jesus Christ, according to their beliefs, that they sacrifice, Jesus sacrificed his life in order to give us more and better, better life. In the last three lines in the poem, the, the writer describes how the speaker's time is running out. He's running out of time. He's going to be executed just few hours after that he's talking about his glass okay and the 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 he's talking about the 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 that's not going to go on. glass of imagine that the glass is a cup that is full it cannot take any other drops of water you cannot fill it with uh, with anything more as if his life, that is the end of his life. He cannot take any other things, any more things. Okay? And the glass is not only full, but it is run, which indicates that the glass itself cannot hold itself anymore. 